Yeah. So unfortunately, we're facing a pretty big mess here right before Christmas. Uh, and so you should definitely be prepared. Uh, if your flight is canceled, what you want to make sure you've done beforehand is have the airline app installed on your phone so that you're able to rebook and also to track your flight to see if it's going to be on time or not. Uh, you want to have the airline that you're flying, you want to have their, their customer service number in your phone and available so you can immediately get on the phone. If you get notified that your flight is canceled and you're at the airport, get on the phone, run to the customer service desk. You want to message them on social media and you want to use the app to try to rebook yourself. So you want to use all the tools in your toolbox to try to be one of the first people to rebook because here's the deal. Flights are full right now. Airlines have reduced the number of flights and the number of seats available because they're trying to get ahead of chaos. So what that means is if your flight, uh, your plane full of people is canceled, uh, you're going to compete against all those people to try to get on that same flight on a different airline potentially. So what you want to do is make sure that you're first in line, whether that's virtually, digitally, or in person uh, to try to get rebooked. So those are a couple of the tricks that we tell people at the Point Sky. So, I mean, a lot of times people are trying to rebook, let's say. Um, they're either trying to get on a flight that is about to leave before their previous flight and the cost of that actual seat, that ticket price that they're trying to get onto is extremely high. What is the solution there? Is it better to kind of take the loss or can you negotiate and get some type of better deal? So here's the thing. If an airline cancels your flight, you are entitled to a full cash refund. Don't let them give you a voucher. But the other part of that is the airline will try to get you on the next available flight. So you shouldn't be absorbing that cost necessarily. If you're flying American, for example, and you're going to say you're flying New York to Miami, if that American Airlines flight is canceled, uh, American will either put you on the next available flight they have, or they can put you on a competitor's flight as well. So there is a possibility they could rebook you on a competitor's flight. Now, here's the thing with that. If you booked the lowest sort of category of ticket, the basic economy fare, you're last on the list. You're last on the priority list. That's why it helps to have a more expensive uh, cabin purchase or elite status because you're going to get a higher priority when it comes to rebooking. Mm -hmm. uh, it also makes a difference to if you have to get a hotel, who's going to get the hotel and who's going to get the food vouchers and who's not. Because the truth is, if it's a weather cancellations, the airlines don't owe you anything technically. So, uh, but you can negotiate and a lot of times they will, they will help you out. Okay. So for a lot of people and most people who are traveling in economy, I mean, what, what's their future going to look like if their plane is delayed or canceled? So if your flight is delayed uh, and if it's a long, long delay, eventually the Department of Transportation is going to have some rules in place for you. Right now, that's not going to help you very much. If your flight is canceled outright, it doesn't matter what class you booked. The airline still has a contract of carriage to get you on the next available flight. The problem is the next available flight could be two or three days from now. So uh, that's why I say it helps when you have status or you're not in the basic economy fare class because you're going to get priority over some other passengers. Mm -hmm. But any any specific things people in economy can do to try to get ahead and to be considered for that next spot? Well, yeah, I think um, first one to the to reach customer service is going to get the first seat. So it doesn't matter what what uh, what fare class you bought. Uh, if you are first in line, you you get a hold of customer service first. Uh, then you're going to get the first crack at the next mm -hmm. next seat that goes out. Uh, but you have to fight for yourself, and you have to try to be first. So that's why, you know, having the airline's phone number and reaching them on social media and getting in line, all those things are really important in in uh, extreme operation uh, operational issues. With your experience, you know, tracking these types of of delays and cancellations and extreme weather, have you ever seen a Christmas um, in a situation like this with people trying to get, uh, you know, across the country to celebrate? So this is literally the perfect storm this year. Last year, we had a ton of operational meltdowns 
but it wasn't so much due to weather as it was to lack of staffing, lack of planes. And when things started going wrong, the airlines just didn't have the wiggle room to absorb the problems. This year, it's actually mother nature that's creating a mess. We've already seen 1900 cancellations today. There's hundreds more cancellations for tomorrow. So this is sort of, this is sort of like mother nature dealing us a pretty big blow in these super busy travel days right before Christmas. So fasten your seatbelts. I'm not sure what this is going to look like, but uh, so far it's not great news. Mm -hmm. And so when do you anticipate the cancellations and the delays to end for people? So I think three days from now, uh, the airlines will hopefully be able to start catching their breath. It looks like most of the weather will have moved through. The, the only issue is if things really get operationally bad, then the airlines, the crews will all be out of place. So it's going to take a couple of days to get that sorted. Uh, last year at Christmas, it took weeks. So fingers crossed, it won't be that bad this time. The airlines and the airports are better staffed. They are a little bit uh, in better shape going into this. So hopefully uh, they'll be able to turn around any issues quickly. And then my last question for you, if someone is offered the opportunity to take a voucher um, or to get on the flight, what's your best advice for them if they are kind of contemplating that situation? I mean, if you don't need to travel, don't take the money and run um, because you just don't know what you're getting yourself into right now. But most people can't really not take the flight because they're going home for the holidays. So this may come more into play after Christmas. If you don't have to rush home, then if they're offering you a voucher, negotiate and see how much you can get. But I would take a voucher if you can if you can delay your return home a couple of days. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much, Clint. Anything else yeah. that would be helpful? Yeah. I would just say, you know, a couple of, of tips I always tell people traveling during the holidays, but really anytime have TSA pre-check or clear. If you don't, it, it won't help you this time, but I, it saved me so much time over the years. Get to the airport early, especially this week with all the changes and with how crowded it is. You really want to get there early. Book your tickets with a credit card that offers travel protections. So if something goes wrong, a lot of really high-end credit cards will actually insure your trip. So they'll pay for your hotel or your voucher, even for a weather event, which the airline wouldn't necessarily do. And don't book via third party. Uh, don't book basic economy tickets because uh, it's just not worth it in case things go wrong.